welcome to Japanese Garden Bristol. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be uh, just giving you a bit of details on, on what's coming and uh, what's happened in the last week or so. Uh, round it all up. Um, it's gonna be my last video now uh, for Sunday night and uh, I'll be coming back in uh, April time with some shorts. So um, I'll give you a bit more detail on that in, in a little bit. What I'm gonna do is generally walk through my garden now, um, tell you a little bit about what's been going on and uh, what's coming up. So, okay, so let's start with, um, I got interviewed by ITVX. They contacted me about two weeks ago and what they've done was um, they asked if they can follow me this year. So what they've done is a winter interview uh, that happened uh, a couple of weeks back and it went out on the, um, went out on ITVX on Tuesday, I think it was. Uh, so what I'll do in the descriptions, I'll put the link to the, um, the show, what they videoed, the interview. So um, you can, go and look that up. I've also put the link on my website as well so you can have a look there if you want to. Um, then the same week they contacted me I was contacted by uh, Pick Me Up magazine again I was on their on their magazine last year. This one is gonna be um, they asked me a few questions for an article I, I answered the questions they're putting it in their um, talks magazine which is goes out, which the next one's going out on the 21st of March. So not long, in a couple of weeks time. So look out for that as uh, 21st of March, Pick Me Up magazine. I think it's called something like Talks or something. Um, so yeah, that's two uh, things that's happened recently and I'm really pleased with that. Um, now this winter, you've seen me uh, build the Hakora behind me there. Um, a great little shelter that I built for when people visit my garden. And then we had the big project just there, which is the tea house. I'm really pleased how that came out uh, through the winter. It's really nice to um, to see it all now, just before the summer. Uh, I've got, I still got to paint the roofs. You might have uh, seen the videos, and I still haven't got around to it. We've had so much rain; it just is not stopping. So um, yeah, I got to do that. But it looked pretty much the same, really, uh, just a different colour. Um, the building behind me hopefully I'm going to be putting a new roof on that next winter but I want to really look into how I'm going to do that uh, I want to really follow the Japanese technique if I can uh, something that possibly will be coming up next year that's the only project I've got lined up uh, apart from some railings which I'm hoping to get done in the summer really I tried last summer and uh, didn't get them done because uh, the National Papers contacted me so anyway, so what I've done, I've made a list up here of all the things um, I want to discuss now, tell you about. Um, let's go through here. I cemented this floor, I've got to be careful where I stand. Um, this is the front of the, the tea house I've done. Um, really pleased with that. Come out really well. Okay, so. Like I said, I will put the links in for the ITVX. I'll put the links in for um, my website. Um, my website, if you want to go to my website, it's got all the interviews on there, apart from one Japanese one, um, Japanese Saturday Night TV. I am not allowed to share that, so unfortunately that's not on there, but all the others are. Um, there's been quite a few, um, there's been a few this year already. So if you haven't been on there, go and have a look. Have a look at my um, interviews. They're all there, just scroll down to come to the interviews. Um, also, if you want to visit my garden, um, which is great, um, all the dates are up there now and you can book from the 6th of April. Um, the first opening is in, on the 27th of April and then I'll be more following. I'll be doing the cream teas, the tours and the um, charity ones as well. Uh, you can actually put the charity you put in now if you want. If you go on my website, you can scroll down to the charity logo, click on book, and you can book yourself in for that date. Um, there's only one up now. It should be free this year. Okay, so 
Um, that's my website, there is plaques on there as well, um, but I don't advise you to buy plaques off my website because everybody takes their cut and it's quite annoying. So if you want plaques, message me um, personally and then we take out their fees. So it's, it's like the price of the plaque plus postage, which is right like £5 and that could be £5 for quite a few plaques instead of on the website where you've got to pay so much um, because they all take their money. So you, the prices go up for that reason. Um, so, uh, what's next? Okay, um, if you like watching my videos, um, I am on Facebook, on my page, Japanese Garden Bristol. I am putting up live videos. I've done one today on my koi pond. And um, there is videos on my YouTube about it. But I've done a live one this morning. I'm starting to transfer the water from my um, from my indoor koi room to the outdoor uh, pond. So, um, if you want that, uh, once a week if I can. Now and then, I put up a live video. So if you want to see what's going on live in my garden, you can go on my Facebook and see them when they come up. Um, what else next? Um, I always put updates on my Facebook as well, so um, it's great to, uh, I put up pictures and whatever's going on, uh, the links to whatever's going on, you can get that. Um, so I'm going to explain a little bit more about um, my coir still inside, I'm topping up the water at the moment and they'll be going out on Monday hopefully. So if you're going to visit my garden, you'll see them in the, the main pond and then that'll turn back into the tea room. Um, right, to sum up what is happening this year with these short videos, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something I haven't done before. Um, what I'm going to uh, try to achieve is I'm going to do short videos um, I'm doing shorts now for a winter walk. If you look at my um, uh, channel, there's, you'll see the shorts. You might have seen a few already. I'm going to put on one up a, a day, um, showing uh, my winter walks. I was waiting for the snow, but the snow haven't happened here in Bristol. Um, so I've done it on rainy days, <laughs> winter. Um, so I put up those shorts now and then in April, I'm going to um, I'm going to start making these small, short videos, step by step, how to create a Japanese garden. Um, it will be literally from the start, right the way up to creating a garden. So I'm going to give you all the information I can, or I've known, or I've picked up in 14 years of creating a Japanese garden. I'm going to be letting you guys know. I'm going to be showing you how to do it what the materials are, maybe where to get them, but that won't be no use to everybody because you don't all come from Bristol. So that's coming up uh, March, they'll be on the shorts, so hopefully they show up on my channel and that'll be good. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is my last video and oh, I'll put some links on in the description. And um, like I said, next winter I'll be, uh, hopefully doing some new projects and going back on my main channel uh, for them. Because the YouTube channel is good for explaining what I'm doing. Um, the shorts and stuff like that will be short videos to the point and what they are. Um, the short ones that's going up in the moment, there's some music, which is nice and shows my garden what it's like in the winter, uh, just for us turning into spring now. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm babbling on, but I'm kind of explaining what's going on. Uh, there is a lot going on in my garden and in my life. Um, I'm going to be um, uh, selling bonsais as well in May, hopefully. So um, maybe other stuff, I don't know. So when you visit my garden, you can come through and um, on the right, you can buy a bonsai. Um, I've done a live video as well on bonsais on my Facebook. Now, if you want to see any of those live videos, they're still on there. They're only up for 30 days, I believe. So. If you want to go over to my Facebook page, Japanese Garden Bristol, you will see the live ones there. 
and uh, they're great because I can tell you as it goes <laughs> and any mistakes that happens happens okay so thanks for watching and hopefully you'll keep on my shorts go to my Facebook go to my website I'll put all the links up and watch the ITVX um, interview and uh, I'll catch you next winter have a good summer and um, I'll see you, see you then take care guys <laughs>